hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Time for some more Final Fantasy XI. I've been meaning to stream the past couple of days, and I just... Gosh, it's been going on. I can't get around to it. But tonight and tomorrow should be really good streaming days. But uh, today, I i don't know what happened. I don't think it happened today, but I fucked up my ankle. I have an old ankle injury from when I was in the Army, and uh, it's all fucked again. I don't know what I did to it, but I'm in quite a bit of pain. But what better way to take my mind off the pain than to stream Final Fantasy XI? Uh, I don't know how long I'll stream, but it'll... I'll definitely do my best to get, like, Samurai up there. Uh, we're gonna grind Samurai, I don't know how high, maybe to, like, 70, 75. And then we'll, from then on, it'll be Chains of Promathia. <clears throat> anyway, it's the 16th anniversary. It's well, part of the reason why I'm back, and I made this little graphic for it, so. Uh, as you can see, I leveled Dark Knight. So, yeah. Okay, let's do this. That's my main objective, is Chains of Promathia. The, the whole, like... It's loud. I forgot, Final Fantasy XI is like loud. Look at these two peas in the pod. It, I'll be able to turn it down when I get in the game. So, yeah. I obviously have le leveled Ninja quite a bit. And I've leveled Samurai a tad bit just to kind of expedite the process. Because grinding isn't exactly the most exciting thing to do in this game. Get some music going because I can't tell how loud the game is. Should be good. All right, let's do this. Sport job warrior. Make sure all my stuffs. Where's my fucking bow? Oh, wait, I have a better bow. Bow and arrow. Hey, I got Tachi Jinpu. I bought a new katana because I realized there's a big jump between 47. I got this one. The only thing I'm not crazy about is that it decreases movement speed. So, it's well, it'll, 61. I'll get the Zenbato. And, I remember on my original character a long, long, long time ago. Uh, it's one I used for quite a long time. So we're going to get Samurai to hopefully 70. And I'll either stop streaming there, or if it doesn't take that long, we'll uh, skadoodle on to Chains of Promathia. Anyway, it's midnight now, so hopefully the server won't be too, too busy. We get to go to one of my favorite areas to grind that no one really goes to anymore, and that's, uh, Terrigan. Uh, hang on. Is it Volvo, I think. Yeah, so... Everything was lining up for me to stream again until I hurt my foot, so hopefully it won't make me too tired. Because, you know, when your body's fighting off pain, it sucks. We take for granted how fragile our bodies are, that much I'll say. Uh, oh yeah, I got some new trust. Let's do my old buddy Tryon. Shantoto. So you can come to Cape Terrigan at the earliest, I'd say like 54, 55. 
You can stay here until 60, and then 60 you can go to Valley of Sorrows, which is in the same area. It's the connecting zone. So used to having ninja tools. Let's just try to get through this alive. I mean, technically you just fight your way through all this, but... I'd rather do it on the beach, have a nice camp. played Samurai in a while. Well, since I last streamed, really. I, I did those couple levels like a week ago. Because for whatever reason, Kuftal Tunnel, which is the connecting zone to Cape Tarragon, is pretty busy in terms of like people grinding and whatnot. But Cape Tarragon, you know, not a whole lot of people come here. I aggro, aren't you? Okay. Okay. Come over here. Just don't want those raptors to aggro. Let me turn it down again. Yes. Sorry, Windows. Tachi Jinfu. I didn't have it last time. Kind of sucks. I mean, it's actually pretty good at 50. It's just my katana is not very up to date. It'll change in a level. Oh god! Oh, fucking crabs! why I wanted to get to the beach. I should just really get those silent oils that I, I have and my bog sack out instead of trying to... I? Okay. I was going to say Shantoto Magic Burst did. Great way to start to start off the stream. Blink! Should be okay. what I get for being lazy. Tryon, you have got to get this off me, bro. I'm going to die! Sucks, holy shit. You know what? It's time to run. Tryon's gonna die. Fucking run. This may be futile. 
Oh my god, everything's gonna aggro. Love Velociraptor. Shh, no, you didn't hear me. Oh, this sucks. I die. I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god. I have to. I'm gonna die. The zone to Valley of Sorrows is too far. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> Whoops. Should've just used the damn silent oil, but no. I was like, oh, I can make it. Dead. Well, that's not something you see too often. <laughs> okay. So that was my bad, but alright. I won't be lazy this time and actually use the damn silent oil and not aggro everything in the freaking zone. You know, and actually, I was using Tryon. I wasn't using Val Valoral or whatever you say his name. I should have been using him because for once his stupid AoE sword ability, Blade of the Conqueror or whatever, would have been great because he would have grabbed all that hate from the get-go. But oh well. I don't even really have to invis. All I had to do is sneak and I would have been okay. What was I using? Oh, Yoki? Yeah. Other than Trust Magic, one of the greatest things they add to this game is all the inventory space and the ability to access it from, well, your Mog Case, your Mog Sack, and Mog Wardrobe you can access from pretty much anywhere, so. I think I lost that much experience, but nah. It's really not noticeable anymore. As fast as you gain experience now, that the penalty for dying and losing it really isn't that big of a deal anymore. And that was my own damn fault for being so lazy and not getting that stupid silent oil out. Make sure this goblin doesn't see me. Server? Uh, it's a Sura. The only server I've ever been on since I played this game like a long ass time ago. It just so happens to be the most populated server now. Raptors are sight. Okay, this is the spot I was trying to get to before I got myself killed. I've I stopped really playing back in the day back in 2006 and I've been gone for a while uh, this is not my first time returning I came back like in 2015 basically created a new character and went through all the expansions and did everything and leveled everything to 99 and this is just my all-time basically leveling and gonna do Chains of Promathia first 
stream purposes. All the gear I get, I have on her, and money is from my main, which is also on Asura. So, returning, yes, after a year, because I played last year, I streamed a bit of this, and now I'm back again for, you know, a couple more days, I guess. I don't play seriously anymore, though. This is something nice to come back to. Yeah, a lot of people uh, come back after a long, long time. And uh, it's a pretty good influx of people. The best way I've ever heard it put was someone described uh, Eleven as a revolving door, which I agree with. It's just fine. The game's so easily accessible now that even if you're gone for years, you can come back and just you know, pick up where you left off or start all over. Because my original character that I had back in uh, 2002 when the game was brand new, and it ultimately got deleted, which wasn't my fault. It was kind of on Square's end, but I just let it go. And when I came back, 2015 is when I made my, my other character, my main, and I leveled it and did everything. So I kind of just am doing this for fun now. I'm going to do Chains of Promathia. I'm leveling Samurai a bit, and that's really all I have plans for at the moment. Oh, it's going to link. Do they link? Please don't link. Okay, they don't. Damn, crabs link. We just found that out. I have a, like, quote-unquote secret leveling spot for around level 80, which I've been taking my ninja there. It's in uh, the past, it's in Labdul, and it's crabs, they're called like Darum shells or whatever. And no one's ever there, like no one ever goes to level on those. And then yesterday, I was leveling my ninja a bit and there was people there. It's a 99 ninja there also. I was like, what the fuck are you doing here, man? I guess it was like skill ups or whatever. But that was the first person I've ever seen there, and like since I discovered it, I was like, "Oh." That's cool. I played. I got into it like six months after the game launched. I wasn't there on day one, but uh, my friends way back. That was back when I was in high school. I'm old as fuck now, but they were like, "Yeah, come, come play Final Fantasy XI." And I was just like, "Oh." What's that? <laughs> I've told the story before about how I had no idea what an MMO is. I was like, so wait a minute. When I got in the game, they had to buy me an, like an old radon video card because my computer couldn't handle it. And they got me in the game and they're like, yeah, it's, look, you can play together. I was like, how do I save? And they're like, no, it's online. You don't have to save. I was like, oh, really? Like, yeah, it's always saving. I was like, oh, cool. I'm, I was an idiot. I had no idea. That was a long time ago, though. And then I played for years until... Yeah, the rabbit hole. That's an apt way of describing it. I was obsessed with this game for a very long time. Right around 2006, I kind of might... I started... Just life changed and I had to... I was doing other things, so I kind of got out of it. And all the people that I was play, uh, were playing with uh, went away. And then for years and years and years I didn't touch the game and then Trust Magic became a thing and uh, I was like, okay, I, I like this game again. I mean, I've always liked it, I've never disliked it, but I was like, I, I enjoy the game again because I can basically solo everything, which is what I do anyway. Which, basically I soloed all of Rhapsodies and Alduin on my main character and that was hard as shit though. And I have respectable... Uh, level 199, or 119 gear, not 199. <laughs> but I'm not like hardcore in game or anything. I just have everything maxed out, so there really isn't anything for me to do on my main character. So I started over again. Yeah, it was difficult. My problem with the final boss was that. Like AOE spam and the ability, like it switched between, uh, like 
being immune to physical and magical attacks, and it was just, oh my god. I very nearly wiped killing that boss, because I had to, like, engage and disengage my party, and I had to get my trust to get enough hate to where they weren't, the boss wasn't on me. It was crazy. I can't even believe I did it, and I was so, like, bad at myself for not having that on stream. It's like, damn. That was before I even started streaming, so there was really no way. But, I mean, I wish I had it on video or something, because it was intense. Pugils uh, are not a good idea. Also, the command I remembered was uh, return, trust, all. I mentioned it last stream about how I didn't know what it was, but it basically gets rid of all of them at once so you can resummon them. I'll just use Tryon. I so badly was like, I was trying so hard to beat Rhapsodies because I was enjoying the storyline and I wanted to, you know, get Iroha too as my trust. <laughs> I actually, I actually did die in that last uh, fight, but she cast the uh, rays on you, so that really helped out. Even with that, it was still tough, though. Holy shit. And that was tough, and the Alduin final boss was tough. I don't know which is worse. I think Rhapsody's was harder final boss for me. Gotta love parry in this game. It's so satisfying when it happens. about that crab. I'm gonna stand up here. I get so used to being behind the enemy from A, Thief, and B, Ninja, and N, and... But I do like streaming Final Fantasy XI because, to me, for me, they're really chill streams, especially with my foot being all hurt. It's nice to kick back and just kind of basically auto attack my way through fights. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. That's kind of what I did. Well, actually, no. I got to the end of Alduin and. Uh, I think I fought that one first, or I beat... I kind of beat them at the same time, but... Uh, d I definitely think Rhapsody's was harder. Your warrior, that's that's what I... <laughs> that was my in-game job, was warrior as well. I, I know, like, the <laughs> meta, or whatever you want to call it, for this game, like, in-game jobs are like Blue Mage, uh, Rune Fencer... I don't know, it's Blue Mage. I left back in the uh, Treasures of At or Gan phase, and that was, you know, the end job then. So I came back in 2015, I was like, oh, of course Blue, Blue Mage is still popular. Geomancer is also another one. See, my original character way back in the day when I played was Dragoon, so I had the whole LOL Dragoon sucks stigma. But I was actually really good at it. I actually was well known for being good at Dragoon, specifically Dragoon Sub Samurai. Yeah. LOL Dragoon. Back then I would get salty about it, but now I'm like, man, that was really silly. I just remember having a, a fake feud with Dark Knights. <laughs> Dark Knight's better, no, Dragoon's better! But to be fair, Dragoon did kind of suck in the original phase when they when it came out with Zillert expansion, and then later on they gave them Spirit Spirit Surge, and that really helped. I felt like God God like when I got Spirit Surge, and then later on I was just kind of like, yeah, it's it's all right. Dragoon's fun. I like it. Now it's actually pretty good at 99. 
Star Diver is a good weapon skill. You get more stuff for your Wyvern to buff them. Yeah, pre-job ability boost. Dragoon and Red Mage. Well, Red Mage is really popular, so... Usually I saw a lot of, like, Red Mages who did like Dragoon, or, or the less than desirable melee jobs or whatever at the time. But they had Red Mage as their main, so they would still get parties, you know, because LFP is Dragoon as hell. Let's use this ring. Let's see, I still got all my ninja tools in my inventory. But I love Dragoon. I still love it. I just am, you know, been there, done that. I will say I was a little disappointed. I level Samurai to 99 uh, on my main, and I was a little disappointed in it. It's like, yeah, it's not as strong as Dragoon, and definitely not as strong as my Warrior. But I'm my Warrior is kind of unconventional. I don't know what the main sub job is for Warrior, but I still sub Ninja and I use Swords, which is I feel like I'm weird for doing that, but I. I do a lot of damage, and I soloed all that hard stuff by myself. Well, I mean, with trust, so. Yeah. Samurai's always been very gear oriented. I think. I think my samurai sucks. I'm pretty sure a samurai, like now at 99, with like ambuscade gear or whatever the new end game thing is, is probably a beast, but my samurai is like, eh. It's not as strong as my warrior, and it's not as strong as, uh, well, it wasn't as strong as Dragoon, I don't think, at 99. I'm, I'm not sure. But I see a lot of, like, in-game samurais now that have, you know, whatever the best gear is. So, it's gotta be pretty good. Oh shit, Tryon, don't die, bro. Damn, Pugils are no-go. Cool, new katana time. Decreases movement speed, I gotta see this. Oh, it's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be like, like, gravity, curse, slow. I was like, that's unacceptable. And I get the Zambato at 61, so... It's not that big of a deal. Actually, oh, is it? Yeah, I can kind of notice the uh, decreased movement speed. Whatever. I'll take it off whenever I go into town. Plus three AF, Relic, and Esha. See, I never really did a whole lot of the Esha stuff. Okay, this is kind of slow. Whatever, it's blue katana, I like it. Ambuscade is kind of good catch up. Yeah, yeah. I got like the plus one stuff on my warrior, and that's. I was kind of when I stopped playing. I had a friend who played with me during my 2015 re. basically going through this game again. That was my main recent play. And so, you know, he was there occasionally to help me. I kind of lost interest when he started, stopped playing. Yeah. Macro gear swaps, oh boy. I don't really do that anymore, but I definitely know that's still a viable strat. I actually never... Well, okay, I did macro some of my gear in back in the day. I never really was big into it, though. Oh. I aggro me anyway, huh, crab? This is just the filler katana, because that Mikazuki was uh, kind of getting weak. But I got the Zanbato at 61, and at 67 you got the Kazaribachi. Crabs are good. 
Pugils are still a little strong for me. Or at least for my tank. You can fight out here in the water, but you gotta be careful with the raptors. I like to come kind of close. And if you're, like, the lower level you are in the zone, the far away, more far away things will aggro you. Which I get used to being high level and then I forget about it and I switch to something low level and go into a zone that's a little bit out of my range and all of a sudden I'm like, holy shit, why is everything arrowing me? <laughs> like those crabs earlier. archery skill that I only really use for pulling. I unlocked Ranger and started playing that the other day and I was like, man, I don't enjoy Ranger. Yeah, I I know. I don't really know what you fight there, but everything I read tells me that Esha is a good place. I guess I'm just kind of stuck in my old ways. Like, I come to Cape Terrigan from 54 to 60, well I go to Valley Sorrows at like 62-ish I leave, and then I'll go to like the Boyata tree and... I don't remember where I go at 70. Well the main reason why I think I never really went to Esha is uh, it's always like so many people there. Sir is a very busy server when it's actually going. Like on the weekends, during like, you know, when everyone's off work, 5 o'clock time, it's pretty freaking crazy. Let's see, there's that AoE attack. So I made this alt and I uh, basically got to where I am now and did the limit breaks and stuff in the span of like a well, like a day and a half. So you can pretty much start from scratch and it, you, as long as you go and you have guides up, you know, on the internet, because you know, I don't remember every little detail. You can, uh, I guess, go through the game pretty quickly, or at least get to the point I'm at. However, because I was trying to stream Chains of Promathia. I was trying to avoid, like, starting it and doing it, but just zoning into Juno and uh, Qfum Island, just... It played the initial cutscene, I was like, oh man, it's, it's unavoidable, really. That's... actually, that's fine, Bale 4. I kind of figured that was a server you were on, because it's in your name, but... Uh, it's not like I picked Asura because it was the most populated one. I just picked it because it's the only one I've ever known. I actually prefer it to not be busy because I like... I don't know, I'm just so used to playing alone. And I kind of don't want to have to compete for, you know, experience and stuff like I used to. But 500 and 900 people is... that's a decent amount. Asura is like 3,000 people during the day. Actually, what is it now? 2300, so yeah. It's never below 2000, even late at night. Because I assume the uh, JP, you know, audience is on. So, Asura is pretty busy, and I swear to God, every time I go away and come back, it gets more busy. So, like, People who weren't playing play, or it's just got a surge of new people playing. <laughs> so, I don't think this game's going anywhere anytime soon. However, I do kind of always in the back of my head, like, fear the day it won't be around anymore. I won't be able to come back to my home away from home. That's what I like to call it.
That's cool. Yeah, my friends have always been on Asura, even way back in 2002 when I started. Like, I was like, what server? They're like, Asura! And I've just kind of been here ever since. I mean, I guess when I made my character back in 2015 or whenever it was, uh, I could have picked any server, but I was like, uh, to my friend who was, you know, my then friend playing with me at the time, I was like, yeah, let's go to Asura, that's where I'm from. Okay. I was like, and, and now it's the most populated server, ironically. I mean, even back in 2002, 2003, it was a pretty populated server. Uh, bows sure have a long delay. Well, you know what's worse than bows? Guns. And this just stems from me playing Ranger the other day, and I was using a gun. Actually, no, I was leveling Corsair. Because I really, on my main character, that's like the only job I don't have in 99, and I, I was using a gun. I was, I got bored of it, like, immediately. I was like, oh, god, this is slow. And then I'm leveling so fast, I can't keep my gun skill capped, so I'm just missing... Yeah, Tachi Koki. Not all about that, mainly because you never use it. I said Jinpu is the one you really use until you get uh, Yukikaze at 60 and then Gecko at 65. Because Gecko is great because it closes and I think opens darkness. And then Kasha, to me, is my my favorite weapon skill Samurai gets. Not only is it really powerful because it's a strength modifier, but uh, it paralyzes too. All the samurai's weapon skills are pretty darn great because they are modified by strength. Oh, you need to be summoned. They link. They didn't link earlier, so please don't link now. Don't, don't link. I think they only aggro. I'm not sure. Despite what happened with the crab incident at the beginning of the stream, I generally am pretty good about avoiding aggro. That was just unfortunate, and me being lazy and not grabbing a sneak oil. They do link. Might be bad. Here I was, just gloating the fact that I am good at avoiding aggro, and then BAM! Link again! Chance this a bit. Oh no, we're gonna be fine. Okay, we're totally fine. <laughs> there you go, Shantoto. Burst it. I gave you distortion again. Nice. And a level. Well, that was almost a almost a wipe again. Guru's already out of MP, so.
have backup truss. So I did it last stream, and I was like, I should go grab a couple. But I did. Zapuru is my only healer. Well, I had, uh, what's that Mithra's name? Hang on. Oh, crap. Um, Neely, a light probe. She's a white mage. Not as good as a Puru, and not as good as Kupipi, but she's alright. I love Warrior. Man, they get so many attack buffs at 99. It's crazy. And since I'm an Elven, I have, like, high strength stat already, and then plus all the merit points and job points and whatever else. I, I use Savage Blade. It does so much damage. I'll go and, like, fight Apex, like, Raptors or whatever the hell they are. I don't remember. My memory's so bad. But, <laughs> and I'm just, like, hitting them for, like, 3,000 to 4,000 damage and making, like, 10,000 light skill chains. It's absolutely absurd. I like, uh, they also get re the retaliation. It's basically kind of like a counter, like a counter stance. Grand X is cool. I find it a little slow. But, you know. I don't know, I just never really was, like, I never leveled it. Any axe I did level was the small, single handed ones. I know back in, like, 2000, whatever, that was. Only acceptable axe for warriors. I'm glad all those standards have fallen away. Or at least basically I can go through the game now and play it however I want. Don't have to worry about what's meta or whatever. But I like swords. Always like swords. <laughs> Samurai, warrior, paladin. Although paladin is not a damage dealer. However, I don't particularly care for rune fencer and they use great sword, which is another sword I like. What? Sticky keys? What? No. I thought I had that turned off. Thanks, Windows. I didn't realize I was even hitting shift too much. Oh yeah. Like... The job's at 99 because everything's so strong at 99. You basically can self skill chain with yourself. You know, because if you have a multi hit weapon skill plus any kind of store TP, which a lot of gear has, uh, you can do that. Now, I can do that on my warrior too, and I just remember back in the day, Samurai was the only one that could really get away with it. And then they even give Samurai a second Oki, which is this. And it's basically like a mini Mako Shisui. It's crazy. Like, what the hell? Samurai is like super, super self skill chain now. I'm sure Great X is fucking strong at 99. I, I don't even know what the weapon skills are. But being as like a two handed weapon with a high delay but high damage. Thing. Any kind of multi-hit weapon skill is going to be great. Yeah, Fencer. Which, I saw that, I was like, oh, they made this for Paladin. <laughs> that was that was my thought process. Because I, I just didn't see, like, sword, sword Shield Warrior being viable, but maybe it is. I don't really know. I don't know what, like... What is meta and what isn't? I just kind of took dual wield sword and sub ninja on my warrior all the way to 99 and it was good. There's light. I don't think I made light. I'm pretty sure that was all Shantoto. This Jinpu is detonation. Ugh. 
refresh everybody. I don't know, uh, but Rune Fencer, I was saying I didn't care for it. I don't know what it was. I think it's just managing all the runes. You have to make macro like books and have them switch between with uh, macro commands. I think I was kind of turned off by that. And at lower levels, I didn't feel very strong. I didn't feel like a tank. I certainly didn't feel like a DPS. But it seems like it's uh, it's the end game job. So I don't know. There's a weird duality to my like how I view this game because a lot of me is still rooted in the old ways. Obviously, here I am at Cape Terrigan <laughs> and leveling this way, but I also acknowledge like the new ways of the game and how things are at end game and stuff like that. So I find myself like switching back and forth between new ways of doing things and old ways of doing things. It's it's a very strange thought process for me. Swing faster than a thief? Holy shit. Yeah. I noticed there was like quad attack stuff too. I have a. Uh, I think it's a bleeding mantle for my warrior, which has quadruple attack. Or something like that. I also leveled Thief to 99, and other than my warrior, I consider that my other main job is Thief, because it's just crazy fast. I'm like quadruple attacking with each hand, plus like double haste. And it's just. it's crazy. I'm like never stop swinging, and all the gear you get at 99 is like store TP, haste, double attack, or quadruple or triple, like bonus. Mainly the haste though on the gear sets at 99 are crazy. Never stop swinging. So two-handed weapons become like not even slow anymore to me at 99. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely old habits are hard to break. I I still do things like ar the archaic way from back in the day. Keyboard's freaking out, one of the two. That was my mouse. What the hell? Oh, I can wear my scorpion harness. What about that? I think I have any leg gear. Nope. I really don't have anything for a little while. I like the look of the Jujutsu Gi a lot better than Scorpion Harness though. But ultimately this is better. I remember when I came back in 2015, that was the first thing I freaked out about was, like, Scorpion Harnesses didn't cost, like, 2 million gil. I was like, what? It's affordable as shit now. I actually think I got these Ochudos Kote, though. I, from Castle Lost Troja, whatever the NM was, he was up, and I happened by him. And I was like, oh, hey, this asshole. And I killed him, and I got him. I was like, oh, wow. Why couldn't I have got this back in 2002? I'm like shaking my fist. Why? Hydro turbine. Dang. 
Well, I was a mechanic, but only on vehicles, so good luck with that. So take care, and thanks for stopping by. Out of mana, okay. Those are just a bad idea, they just drain my mana too fast. Yawning. I feel like I just started streaming now. It's taking me a little longer to get to 60 than I thought. I should have used my knee chattering when I wore off, but we'll get there. At worst, push come to shove, I'll get to 60 and, or whatever I get to before I don't feel like streaming anymore, and I'll save Chains of Promathia for tomorrow. Which. The first part of Chains of Promethea's story will be just a lot of running around. Since I said earlier I accidentally stumbled around, I stumbled into uh, Quiffum and that triggered the cutscene. I'll basically just, I'll explain it tomorrow, so if you won't have missed anything, it'll, it'll be all on stream, but basically cutscene happens and the crag or the towers and uh, Quiffum start going crazy with energy backing up and there's a hole in the sea, and Bahamut comes out, and he's like, oh, I'm pissed, and very very similar to his Final, For Final Fantasy XIV brethren. He's like, oh, the end is near. Although in fourteen he just basically destroyed the world. Not like, blow it up, but he like, rent the land asunder kind of thing. I swear I had some pants from the Samurai. I don't think... I think it's like high level something though. Oh, 80. I got some stuff for it at 70. It's the... the Hatchiman set. I can't wait to use that because I've always liked it. Yeah. Hatchiman, Domaru, and I have the feet. to max out though. 57. It should be 190s or one it should be close. Oops. God, every time I tab out of a game. fighting pupils, so... I'm not really sure what the difference is between Kupipi and Apururu. Apururu casts haste, I think. Oh. So you guys do aggro. 
But it has to be sight. I thought it was sound. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Satisfying in here, great katana hit, that noise. There's a lot of great noises in Final Fantasy XI. Maybe that's a weird thing to kind of point out, but it's always... It's got really good... Well, I want to say it has really good sound design, but... Sometimes this audio balancing in this game is weird, like, it cuts out at weird times. So it can't handle, like, if there's a bunch of things going on at a given point in time. It's going to be respawned, so... Dang, I take a lot of damage. Granted, I have Berserk up right now, but... Do 1500 damage and I'm 58. It'll, it'll, this will expedite a little bit gaining levels. I came here like at the threshold of when you probably shouldn't be here. You can come here at 55, because that's when Cape Terrigan is viable, but it's pretty tough. At 60, it, everything I think starts conning is tough to use, so we go to the Valley of Sorrows, which is right behind me. You pull out a bow, you take forever to aim, like, yeah, I got it in my sights, and then you just miss. Technically for pulling, I wish they would just pull out the bow and just, like, fire the arrow in the general direction of the monster, because it would piss them off. That'd be more accurate. But if you're going to sit there and aim, then you should land the hit, you know? I know, logic, it's a video game. No longer incredibly tough. Let's 
unfortunate that undead don't spawn in the water. Actually, I'm not even sure they spawn in Cape Tarragon at night. They might, but it may be further inland. That's why Savage Blade's the best. Shadows. I get so used to being my ninja. I have like sneak and invis and shadows and debuffs or monsters. It's, it's actually, I've grown really attached to it. Which is funny because back in the old day, I never leveled ninja. I was too expensive for one thing. Now you can just buy all your tools. I've actually grown attached to it. I mean, you don't do as much damage as, say, Samurai does, but. That's a respectable amount, and it's fast, so that's the main thing. And then, and like Samurai, they have uh, a tank and DPS stance. So do Samurai, Sagan and Hasso, and Yonan and Inan. spawn, but... Please don't leak. Yes. It's not one, but both hits. Oh, damn, he did leak. It's okay, this one's dead. him. I would love if your trust NPCs just had random conversations. Flash him! I will not do something so lewd. I am a proud Elvon warrior from Sandoori. I mean, with magic! He's killing our black mage! It's 190. I don't think it's capped yet, though. It's gotta be close. 58. It's gotta be like one, almost 200. Summon a guru. I want to fight crabs. I guess I need to go up the beach a little bit. King burns through his magic really fast. So I get a little paranoid whenever I see that he's low. Actually, let's just fight this raptor. He's getting on my nerves. But Yo King doesn't really need to have MP. Besides, his AI will just cast Ma uh, Mage's Ballad whenever he's anywhere near low. You know, sometimes it's kind of detrimental because you need, like, Blade Magical or whatever. He'll just be like, no, nah, I'm low, Mage's Ballad, but no one else is! Oh, wait a minute. At 60, Mikaze is. Is it 200 or is it 225? So maybe it's not close to capping.
Goblin Craft. There was a crossover event. Uh, I don't remember how many years ago that was now, but in Final Fantasy XIV or Final Fantasy XI, <laughs> there was a fate, and it was called Our Favorite Pastime, and it was killing crabs. I found that kind of cheeky. I was like, yeah, all right, fair enough. And the whole like story was Shantoto came over from. She accidentally created a like a portal to the Aorzean world. And she came over and was like wreaking havoc or whatever. And then they like kicked her out. <laughs> or she ran out of time, I don't remember. It was fun. It was just nice because at the time I was playing 14 and uh Damn it! I wasted my sake and note Shantoto. You would go into the fate and fight against like a giant Shantoto, and she would cast like you know, tier 5 spells. And it would play the Final Fantasy XI music in Final Fantasy XIV. It was kind of neat. But also odd. I was like, they're promoting 11 and 14, but I thought they wanted everybody to play 14, not 11. Think the link, but they might. Oh, no, okay, it'll be fine. these levels, Shantoto's magic is just maxed out. Oh. No. Okay. These two are too close together, too. I hate when mobs walk near each other. I was, I'm pretty sure their pathing is like pretty set, and then they just kind of overlap sometimes. Lotus Blade. I would have skill chained off that. I guess I should show off Tachikoki once. It sucks, but hey. I'm showing off all the rest of them. They're, they're not that great. Tachikoki's 
Hachi Goten was just a little bit stronger of a weapon skill, I would use it versus crabs because it's lightning. Anyway, here's Tachigoku. Light ball. Loveling. Good. Your raptor. Oh my god. I keep forgetting this katana slows my movement speed. Because I'm like, why am I moving so slow every time I, like, pull something? Holy shit, please slow down, raptor. I mean, the 69 damage. It's better than the Not a bad little camp over here. And you have to worry about crab respawns a little bit more than hiding out in the cave. But... I don't have a good piece of headgear for my samurai. Micro pulling. up. Actually, 
actually those can go in there too. These geodes. I even have copper vouchers in here. Yep. So he randomly uses that AOE weapon skill. So it's kind of dangerous to fight him on a bunch of things that could possibly link. But he's kind of the best tank I have right now. I remember using Tryon a lot, but now that I've used the uh, laner roll, he's kind of better. It seems like, I don't know. Tryon does do shield bash, so that's, that's kind of better. If this was Zelda, it'd be great because everything would be respawning. Oh, I thought that I thought I actually hit that uh, Pugil with my arrow. go over here. <laughs> it's weird. Actually, it's... Come on, kill me! My voice is kind of going too. It's... Ugh, everything's going wrong. I wanted to stream for like quite a long time tonight, but I might have to go sooner than imagined. I blame my hurt foot. Seriously, take care of yourself, people. Just take uh, good health for granted. If you have like an old injury, be mindful, because you never know. You can provoke it, and it'll start hurting again. I've always been pretty careful, but my foot injury was while I was in the army, and it was kind of unavoidable, so... Which I didn't think much of at the time, other than, yeah, it really fucking hurt, and it took a while to get over, but... Uh, you know, it, for a long time, it nothing went wrong with it, and then... You do one thing wrong, and it's like, oh, it's hurting again. Almost 60 though, so that's kind of good. The e chat ring really helps because it's, it's like 150% experience gain. Yeah, versus what I was doing, which is only 50. We last the same amount of time. This is maximum uh, 30,000. The other's uh, only 15,000. There's an actual, like, Emperor Band. The one I have is the Empress Band. I think the Emperor Band's, like, kind of close to the E-Chan ring. So people generally regard it as better, but it only has three charges, and Empress has seven. I mean, both you have to refill once a week, so I can get that Empress ring refilled, like, now, because uh, I got it before the last reset, which is on s Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday.
And I was kind of saving all my rings for when I streamed the level sand because I wanted to burn them all to kind of get through the levels a little bit quicker. If my Great Katana was capped, we would be getting Tachi Kaze soon, but it's a little bit behind, so. Hopefully, it won't. I think it's 200? Actually, let me look that up. Because I'm kind of guessing. I don't remember. Last time I really leveled Sam and got Yuki Kaze was way back in the day. skills. Maybe it's under Grey Katana. Yeah. Uh, Yuki Kaze is 200. Alright. So you do get it at 60. That's right. 225 I think is Gecko. I don't know what I was thinking. Unable to see him. So, if John Cena was a notorious monster and I tried to pull him, it'd be like unable to see John Cena. So, four more skill points I'll have Fikikaze, which is a great weapon skill. Not as good as Gecko or Kasha, but it's pretty darn good. It's about as strong, and it blinds occasionally. It depends on your TP, really. Holy shit, screwdriver. one responds right where I was. when you miss both hits of weapon skill. Use the smith or no? Guess if I'm really hurting for accuracy I can use my burner ring, but Oh yeah, Shiver's Chain. It's got store TV on it.
bump up the skill. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Well, mixed decision instead of distortion. Are you gonna have fire weather on Fire's Day? Holy oh, shit. This would be a bad time to fight Ifrit. Kind of skill up. Look, I'll even make the macro early to encourage it. I see distortion, I'm like, it's dead. Oh, yeah, new katana. The meat cleaver katana, as I call it. That's what it looks like. Like a giant meat cleaver. I would kind of like it, but I don't know. You can't get stabby with it. want to go like, join the Culinary's Guild. Carrying this around. It's like, aren't you a samurai? Nah, I'm here to chop some meat! She looks more menacing with this Grey Katana than she does as my do as Dark Knight the Sickle, or Scythe, I mean. Ooh, ooh, 199, so close. I mean, haste is really helping. Yoakim's just standing in the pupil. I guess I ought to be in Valley of Sorrows, but...
like this katana a lot better. I'm doing like a hundred a swing now. And I don't have to worry about my movement speed being so damn slow. Five skill up, so it has to be just like another point five or even less. we go, finally. Right. I can show it off. Watch me totally miss my first weapon skill with it. Oh, I got it. Nice. Yeah, blinds target. It works surprisingly more often than not, which you wouldn't think so, but it does. Right, if you hit. This is where I remember subbing Thief was really good for Samurai. You, you know, sneak attack, trick attack, whatever, and then you can cause it, and it just does so much damage. However, I am done. I'm sorry, the stream is a lot shorter than I wanted it to be, but I'm in pain, and my voice is going, so I'm just gonna call it early. But I will definitely stream again tomorrow. Hopefully my ankle I say I keep saying my foot, but it's really my ankle. Won't be in so much pain as it is now. And I'll have a little bit more energy. Cause you know, streaming late's not the problem. It's just my condition at the moment. Oh, this button takes so long to load. Button! I don't know why my home point's here. It's here on my main character, too. Because that button takes forever to spawn whenever you zone in, so if you want to, like, hurry up and get in your Mog House, you have to wait for it. Whereas, like, the, any home city, you just turn around and walk into it, and you're there. <sighs> but, anyway, thanks for joining the stream. I'm sorry it ending a little bit sooner than I wanted, but uh, I'll see you tomorrow.